know who it is and what it is. It's your boy C Greasy, and I'm here with the Emperor of the Universe, Frieza. <laughs> Caitlin Glass. Caitlin Barr. I'm an anime voice actor. Yes, in the flesh, the legend. Stop playing with him. <laughs> Look, man, I'm geeking out right now. You know what I'm talking about? This is definitely childhood for me. You know what I'm saying? So I thank you for giving me yeah. this opportunity, man. Um, first question is, what would you rate this convention 1 through 10 and the style of the convention? You know what I'm talking about? Like, etchy, right? Like, how you liking that? I mean, it's everybody's been really nice, and I'd say, yeah, 10. It's a 10, for sure. <laughs> everybody's been great. Um, it's definitely an interesting experience, for sure. Uh, we had a charade panel last night that was... Um, Required lots of alcohol. <laughs> 69. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's been really cool. I love doing 18 plus conventions. There's just like a different, a chill vibe. Like everybody's like, you would think it would be like wild, right? But it's it's really chill. Everybody's super nice. Um, I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are. Yes. Yeah. yes. That's so hard. This is the only my first 18 plus convention oh, I've ever okay. done. So I, I, I don't know that I have a good like frame of reference for comparison. Mm -hmm. um, but on the scale of people being chill and nice and cool, a 10. Next question is, out of all the characters you have done, who is your favorite and why? Bro, it's hard to pick a favorite, you know, because <laughs> it is genuinely because like, you know, you put yourself in all these different uh, stories and characters and get to know them. So I think... I mean, Frieza's definitely up there. I love Frieza. I grew up watching Dragon Ball, and so jumping into the world now is really, um, it's really special, but it's still, it's hard to pick. I could be, they would give you, like, a top five, maybe, but, like, top I mean, five is Frieza, Cherry Blossom from Skate, The Infinity, I love Final Fantasy Remake for Vice Immaculate, uh, um, beyond that, oh, God, I can't be on that, I don't know. <laughs> I've done a lot of stuff, man. It's You're right. Keep track. Uh, I've been voice acting in anime and video games for about nine years um close to 10 almost there uh it's really hard to pick a favorite but right now the one that i'm currently a little bit extra obsessed with is chiaki from laid back camp because that is the most unhinged i've been in the booth ever it was super super fun I started voice acting in early 2004, so I'm currently in my 19th year of voice acting. That's okay. so wild. Okay. And my favorite character to have played is Haruhi Fujioka from Oran High School Host Club. And then second is this girl right here. Cammy White Street from Fighter. Street Fighter. Yeah. Another mission awaits. Tell me the truth. All right. As long as you've been doing voice acting, let us know what is the pros and cons of this job. The pros far outweigh the cons because you get to do something really cool for a living. Like this is such a, a neat job. Um, I mean, I think the cons is just it's really competitive and you really have to hustle to make it work. Like you can't just kind of like wing it and you're not just doing it. some people think that you're just doing impressions of stuff or like you're getting in just like changing your voice but you're acting it's you need to be a good actor to do this job so you need to keep your skills like brushed up you need to be able to take rejection um it's a lot of hustle um and a lot of, you're investing too in everything with it too because like with like gear you have at home or you know, classes, things like that. Okay. You really have to invest in this. So, I mean, I guess that, and like, if you, you know, are missing out on opportunities and you'd like maybe audition for something and you're like, ah, oh, shoot, I didn't get that, I really wanted that, that can kind of sting. Right. Um, but generally, I mean, it's pretty awesome, man, I gotta say. Pros of voice acting as opposed to like, because I'm, I'm also like a stage actor. I did stage acting for a long time. Voice acting is super cool because you can be characters that you don't look like. Um, I play a lot of like giant dragons and monsters <laughs> and like magical girls that have wings. You know, I play little boys, I play old ladies. That's the kind of stuff that you don't really get to do on stage. So that's probably my favorite thing about voice acting. The cons would be. Um, I don't think people realize how many auditions we get that we don't book. Like you, you might, if you're booking like one in a hundred, you're doing amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so dealing with rejection a lot, I guess. Um, see, seeing a 
have a role come around for an audition that you really, really want, and you put in your best audition, you try to forget about it, and then like a month later you see like somebody tweeted that they got it, and you got to deal with that. Um, so that's probably my least favorite part is the is the rejection and the uncertainty. The pros are that it's very fun and that you can literally play anyone. It doesn't matter, male, female, young, old. If you can do a voice that is appropriate for them, you get to be them. Yes. And that's very different from being on camera or being on stage. So like the opportunities are kind of limitless. So that's a pro. Yeah. The con is it's super competitive. And uh, you never really know if you're going to work. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that's acting in general. But um, other times it can be very taxing on your voice depending on the role. Right, right. Like video game work in particular. Uh, you do a lot of yelling, a lot of just high energy, high tension for long periods of time. So you can get pretty worn out. And that sucks. All right. And my viewers already know what question is coming up. Because <laughs> we all got to know this for sure, for sure. So outside of the anime world, if your life depended on it and you had to choose one, Marvel or DC, who are you rocking with? Marvel all day. Is that your final answer? Yes. DC. But I'm not confident because I don't know a lot about superheroes. But I'm going to say DC because I kind of like Wonder Woman. <laughs> oh, Marvel. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Why though? Do you tell them why? Mm, uh, be, well, it might be very superficial, but like, uh, they're, the Marvel superheroes are hotter. It's Marvel Gang or Don't Bang, DC for the little boys. I keep telling y'all, boy, stop playing with us. <laughs> tell them why, man. Tell them why. Oh, man, I just, <laughs> I get so much more engaged with Marvel stuff. I don't know. I feel like the DC movies aren't as good. <clears throat> are you, you must be a Marvel guy because you look upset. Definitely. It's Marvel Gang or Don't Bang, you know what I'm talking about? She a little lost, but I'm going to help out. Don't worry. I am i don't know anything, so <laughs> I, I pick. I went 50-50, and I guessed. <laughs> I mean, I mean, do you want to be saved by Captain America. Right. Don't you? Oh. As far as I'm concerned, that's America's ass. Of course. Yeah, you yeah. want to be saved by, like, But not because he's hot, but, like, he's just strong than a mug, punching yeah, tanks and true. stuff. That's true. Yeah. That beard. Yeah. <laughs> Him, yeah, or Black Panther, or any of that. Right, them. Yeah, right. Uh, that's, yes, come and save me. Please. Long story short, y'all already know. DC, get your ratings up. Y'all little boys, stop playing. Marvel gang or don't bang. Yes. Even though we are both Marvel fans, we will give DC this one thumbs up. When it comes to cartoons, right, <laughs> they're phenomenal. Yes, yes. That's the only thing I'm giving DC. Never give y'all props again. <laughs> But yes, yes indeed, man. I, I definitely appreciate you for doing this interview with me. This is a dream come true for show. Um, if you have any social media, please lay it out on the line. I want my followers to be yours and vice versa. So let's get it going. Oh gosh, I mean, I've got Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all under my name, Damon Mills, D-A-M-A-N-M-I-L-L-S. And uh, yeah, you can see voice acting announcements on there, um, con announcements, all that kind of stuff. Um, Keep up with my latest roles. I just announced I'm in uh, Trigun Stampede, voicing Legato Blue Summer, so that's something you can check out on Crunchyroll. Uh, on Instagram, I'm Caitlin Barr, V A for voice actor. On Twitter, I'm K B, but spelled out, so K B E E, that's me, K B, that's me. And that's pretty much all the social media. Oh, Twitch, on Twitch, I am Caitlin Barr, V A as well. I, I rarely stream, but <laughs> I'm on there. Come find me. You can find me most of the time on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Caitlin's Voice on both of those. Y'all heard it here first. Greasy game or don't bang. Uh -huh.